All right, guys. So the last time I checked, it's still Squonk Week. So in Squonk Week, I want to talk lots and lots of stuff about squonking. Get it all out there. Today, I want to talk about mechanical squonk mods. Mechanical squonk mods like the one that you see right here. But there are many different versions. Uh, some of the most popular ones this year, this year, yeah, this year, would be the 3D printed mechanical squonk mod. This one, this one that I have right here, it's a stair boot mechanical squonk mod, but it all works pretty much the same way. I'm going to show you how the mechanical squonk mod uh, works. I'm also going to show you how to take the bits and pieces of your mechanical squonk out and uh, clean it up. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the bottles and other stuff that you should know when using a mechanical squonk mod, including a simple guide on how to do a build for a mechanical squonk mod. But keep in mind that it, like any squonk mod, I would be obliged to tell you that it is not recommended for beginners and you will need to do lots of research on the battery safety and how to do a build. Do not just blindly follow my tutorial. I wouldn't say I'm a squonk mod expert. I tend to stay on the safe side of, I wouldn't say that I'm a mechanical mod expert. I tend to say, stay on the safer side of mechani mechanical mods with my builds. I'm not really trying to push it and make huge clouds. So I will show you the simple safe build. If you want to go beyond that, you really have to do lots of research, right? So let's go. Alright guys, so let's talk about mechanical squonk mods. Um, I'm going to review one of the mechanical squonk mods I have. This one happens to be a stair boot version uh, done by RC Mods. But I intend this video actually to be more of a, a generic what to expect from a mech squonk mod kind of video and also show you how the, the parts go together. Um, I believe most mechanical squonk mods should work the same way. I'll show you how to clean it up and maybe give you a hint on the type of builds that you need to have in here to have a good fit. So this one, as I said, is a stab wood mechanical squonk mod made by RC Mods. I actually got to select the block of wood that I wanted and get uh, the modder to make it. RC Mods Roman Shakurin. You can you can search in Facebook RC Mods and they may not have the exact same design of the mechanical squonk mod but you can definitely find newer squonk, mo uh, squonk mods in there regulated squonk mods dna75 or dna75c and maybe this one will be uh, done again in a small batch uh, in the future so this one came in a very simple cardboard box like this velvet pouch and you have the authentication serial number in there this one is called the sq mod serial number 062 and a warranty of six months i actually got uh rc mods to make me two drip tips matching drip tips an 810 size drip tip for the goons and a 510 standard drip tip so the total cost including the drip tips was about 400 us dollars if you just want to get the mod it costs you about 300 dollars so most mechanical squonk mods you can find today are going to be either made out of stab wood like this or it's going to be 3D printed, right? So the 3D printed ones, I don't have any to show you right now. I actually have one. I ordered one uh, from Ginger Vapor, the Boxer Squonk Mod that has been delayed and delayed and I haven't got it yet. But the concept is pretty much the same. It's just a very simple device. And there are pros and cons to that. The pro is that you don't have to worry about warranty. You don't have to worry about the board acting up. You don't have to worry about being obsolete or upgrading it in the future uh, because there are there is no circuitry or there are no electronic circuitry. So this particular one, uh, you see magnets on all sides. Uh, some cutout here for the battery. And inside, it's going to be pretty much the same if it's a 3D mechanical mod or a stab boot squonk, uh, squonk mod like this. There are only a few components that you need to worry about. The first, of course, is the bottle. The bottle. So I'll do a separate video on bottles. But basically, if you're going to get a custom or a higher end 3D uh, mag mod or a stab boot mag mod, do ask, do find out about the 
bottles itself. At the very bare minimum, it should have a super soft bottle, but some people would give you better options like a Cappy V4 or a Lucos silk bottle. Again, I will talk about the bottles in a separate video. So you have the bottle right here, and then you have the internals, very, very bare. Uh, the most important thing here is going to be your 510 connector and most of the mods made by uh, individual modders out there would be using let's say for example a fat daddy vapes and this one here is a fat daddy vapes mm, version 5 i think squonk connector if i'm not mistaken so most of them are going to be using standard parts more or less some people do design their own 510 but that's quite rare because a lot of these models are just, they just make small scale uh, productions and they don't really have the time or the resources to go and design one uh, by themselves. But that's okay because most of the Fat Daddy Fapes uh, Squonk connectors actually work pretty well. I hear some people have complaints about it. I think it works well for me. Different versions, this one actually has an O-ring right here which is the only thing I don't quite like because the O-ring does tend to pop out sometimes. I haven't lost it yet but I guess in the future it will happen and I just don't know where to go ahead and find replacement O-rings to match this size. Not impossible I guess but you know it's, it's still kind of a hassle. And this particular uh, Fat Daddy Vapes 510 pin is spring loaded. You it may not always be the case sometimes the 510s uh, are manual so it requires you to put a screwdriver in here and get it up or down pros and cons are with a spring loaded one like this you can just screw in any atomizer you want you'll sit flush uh, with a manual adjusted one uh, it will cater to any atomizer because the spring loaded ones sometimes for some some RDAs are a bit too short so it doesn't make a connection but with a manual adjusted one you can make a connection with everything the con is that you have to keep adjusting it when you switch RDAs so the rest of it is very simple as well you have your contacts right here right and in this particular one there's no indication of the battery but I've seen a lot of 3D printed uh, Mac mods they do indicate the battery position basically your positive is going to be here and your negative is going to be here and then you have this piece of metal here that actually is the only thing that makes the connection for your battery and in most cases you can just pop it out like this and you have some sort of insulation here then the button itself comes out so in some mods you have an insulator uh, at the back of the button itself uh, this particular one since it's made out of wood there's no need for an insulator but if it's made out of stainless steel for example do check that it does have some sort of insulation uh, at the back of the button if it doesn't have any insulation at all you probably need to put some tape at the back of the button then this part right here I've actually gone ahead and loosened it up a bit but if you get it, it's probably going to be a bit tight. So you need a pair of pliers, loosen it up. And then the entire uh, 510 part, you can just take it out. And everything comes out like this. So since it's a stab wood mod, uh, when I want to clean it up, for example, uh, I would need to do this so that I can put in my uh, Renaissance wax on the inside i can also just use a paper towel and wipe off any excess juice or you can also use an alcohol wipe if it's a 3d printed mod i'm not going to use an alcohol wipe for my stab wood mod so mechanical squonkers are going to require regular maintenance uh, because you will have juice all over uh, after you've been using it for a while and you don't want the juice to get onto your battery part i've seen some max squonkers that have a separator here to separate your battery from this quonk bottle but most of them nowadays tend to want to be as small as possible and therefore your battery is going to be right next to your squonk bottle which is actually a very bad idea but that's how it is so you want to pay attention to the cleaning part for all the metal parts I'm going to use an alcohol swab right here is isopropyl alcohol basically rubbing alcohol and I will just clean out the metal parts, the 510 pin, and the insides as well. All the connectors need to be cleaned out.
and normally I would go ahead and uh, apply some Renaissance wax on the stab wood mod. You can see the difference once it has been waxed nicely with Renaissance uh, wax and uh, mineral oil, white mineral oil. You can see the color really pops on the inside. Not so much because I haven't done that in a in a quite a long time, and I'm not going to do that right now. And then all you have to do is put everything back together again. You want to get it tight, but in this case, it's a stab wood mod. I'm not going to make it very, very tight because I don't want to crack the wood. I know it's possible if I get it, if I just make it a bit too tight, it may just crack this part here. Then I'm screwed. Kind of forgot to clean out this part earlier. So I'm just going to clean it up. And um, for a Mac Squonk mod, the material really matters if it's uh, brass or copper or anything else because you want to eliminate uh, the voltage drop in your setup and that's something that you can ask around also if you plan to buy any kind of uh, mechanical squonk mod do ask the modder what type of connection you'll be getting um, I wouldn't say you must get copper Sometimes you can get copper, sometimes you can get uh, brass, sometimes you have stainless steel connection. It does matter, but it really matters the overall build of it, including the soldering on this part and the tightness, the fit of everything also matters. But just another thing to keep in mind, this part right here is actually very useful because if you find that the throw of the button is a bit too hard, you can bend this part right here a little bit at a time until you get just the right amount of tension for the buttons because there's really nothing pushing the button back except this piece of metal. I'm going to put it back exactly as it is because I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, the tension of, of the metal piece right here. Just nice for me. Then I'm going to put back my squonk bottle And we're good to go. Now let's talk about the type of builds that you need to have on a mechanical squonk mod. It is at the end of the day a Mac mod. So this video is not enough for you if you have never used a Mac mod. I do suggest that you do some research to understand how a mechanical mod works. Because with a mechanical mod, all you have is your battery and you're going to be drawing the power straight from the battery onto your bill. You need to have a bill that matches, uh, that is suitable for a squonk, uh, for a Mac setup. And you also need to have the right battery. So if possible, this is the battery that I like to use currently, the VTC5A, VTC5A. What matters is the amp limit of these batteries and this one has a 30 amp limit if I'm not mistaken yes should be 30 amp the VTC uh, 4 actually has a 20 amp so this one is better for your Mac mod setup but the VTC 4 is also good it really depends on the bill that you want to put in here and I normally put the date of purchase right here so that I can keep track of how old this battery is like I said, guys, you need to do a lot of research on the battery part. Uh, but uh, there are charts out there that you can just Google it for Mooch battery charts that shows you all the suitable batteries that you can use uh, and just stick to those batteries. Stick to those recommended batteries and make sure that it is at least 20 amps. Let's put the battery in, right? So you do see that in this particular setup, there is a little bit more room. So if you want to switch to a better bottle than the one that you have, check the video on squonk bottles, but you really have to make sure that you have enough room here. Now, for most mechanical squonkers, the battery is in there and the way you're going to get it out is actually, it's actually very simple. You just need to do this. And the battery just comes out. If you want, you can also put a ribbon in there so you can pull the battery out. So you really want to make sure that you have the correct bill in there. Um, I, I, 
it's difficult for me to recommend something but I would say that if you can stick to above 0.1 ohms above 0.1 ohms that is the minimum that I recommended you go 0.1 ohms but don't go to the minimum you know you could do a bill like this one that I have in here is a 0.2 ohm bill and I find it good enough because I'm not really trying to chase clouds right here this is a dual parallel uh, 26 gauge wire build comes up to exactly 0.2 ohms and it is safe for magmod usage if you have the right batteries there you go we're not trying to make huge clouds at least i'm not trying to make huge clouds i just want to have a really good smooth wonderful fape in a safe enough setup and this one it just works all the time for me now if you're going to have a bill with clapton wire then even though you have a 0.2 ohm bill like the one that i have in here you're going to have a much longer ramp up time because clapton wires have more metal in them so although the resistance is the same it will take longer for the wires to actually heat up so for a mechanical mod i i always like to just go with simple round wire use an ohm's law calculator to put in your materials and stuff like that and find out what is the final resistance 0.2 ohm for me is good enough if you want to go lower than that uh, do not go lower than 0.1 ohms and even that you need to make sure that you have a battery that has at least 20 amp discharge this is just a rough guide guys um, do your own research don't blame me for stuff I did give you the warning right there and we are good to go now for a single coil bill i like the hadley rda for a single coil bill and for a dual coil bill i like to use the goon lp or even the uh, normal goon does not come with a uh, 510 pin but you can always get a 510 pin from 3f fape for example for the regular goon 24 or goon 22 costs about 99 cents and it becomes a very very good uh, squonk RDA in fact before I converted my uh, goon 22 millimeter into a squonk RDA this was my favorite squonk RDA the Hadley RDA all right everything is working good to go all right guys I hope you hope you enjoyed the uh, video now this mod is really really gorgeous for me RC mods as I said check the link in the description box below to the RC mods group or you can uh, Facebook group or you can just go to Facebook and type in RC mods Roman Roman Chakorin Chakorin Roman Chakorin that's the guy's name he does really really good mods really really excellent this one I was lucky that I found the piece of wood that I really really liked uh, the turnaround time was about um, a week a week or so it really depends on how much stuff he has to do how much he has on his plate at the moment but get in touch with him and he's also right now doing uh, DNA 75 uh, regulated uh, squonk mods also DNA 75 C so he keeps moving forward I'm sorry if he no longer does the mechanical squonk uh, stair boot squonk mods like this but do check with him what is available and he does really good work all right, too much talking. Let me vape on my mechanical squonk mod. All right. There's just something about Mac mods that no regulated mod can give you it's this it, the even even uh, output of uh, power that you get it just it kind of affects the flavor a little bit i don't i i, I cannot prove this in any way and different people may have different opinions but i've always felt that way about mac mods it can give you really really good flavor because of the the, the raw power but also the more even 
uh, power output. You don't have anything trying to regulate you or limit you. And that's good, but there's also the other side of it, the danger if you try to push too much, do a build that is too low. Uh, for a Mac mod, you really need to be very, very sure of what you're doing. My recommendation is if you want to get a mechanical squonk mod, don't get it because you want to do huge clouds you can it is a mechanical mod so whatever you do on a normal mechanical mod you will be able to do on a mechanical squonk mod and you can get huge clouds if you want to for me personally i go for the flavor right because although i have a dna 75 um, regulated squonk mod i can definitely get more power to match my dual coil builds so for me if i'm going to do a dual coil build i would go for a mechanical squonk mod if i'm going to do a single coil build i'll go for a, a regulated squonk mod because my regulated squonk mods are dna 75 right so if i have a regulated squonk mod that is dna uh, 200 like the halcyon or also maybe like a dual battery like the drip box then should be no problem for a dual coil. So once I got myself a mechanical squonk mod, I pretty much stopped buying, even stopped trying or wanting to try regular Mac mods. I just don't see the point anymore unless you love brass, you love copper, you love polishing your uh, Mac mod and stuff like that. I just don't see the point anymore because I get everything a Mac mod can offer me. Uh, unless it's a stacked stacked Mac mod, it's a different story, but I get everything a Mac mod can offer me in a much better package with much more juice capacity. I can basically pretty much use the same RDAs as well, uh, like the Goon LP or the regular Goon 22, Goon 24. You can get a separate squonk pin, 99 cents. Uh, where to get it? Check the link in the description box below to my list of Squonk atomizers. I also have another list of Squonk um, mods on my website. Took me a long time to do it, but I believe it's the best place to go to find everything that you can buy affordable stuff in a one list. You will not find this one there because this is a high end mod. It's custom made. So for stuff like this, I just do not list it because you really have to get into the Facebook group and talk to the owner, talk to the modder and order yourself one. 3D printed uh, Mac mods are very popular nowadays. It's not that I don't like uh, 3D printed uh, Mac mods. You know, this this clone Frankenskull, this, this, the, the clone Frankenskull, it, it, it works. It works pretty well. And that's the thing with, that's the thing with squonk, uh, mechanical squonk mods is that even the clone ones, like this little sucker right here, it it works really well the only question is the uh, 510 connector what kind of 510 connector did they use how do you adjust it how do you work with it uh, what kind of connection is it copper connection or brass or other stuff or uh, other types of connection that different materials will give you a better connection and therefore you get less voltage drop uh, with mag mods but otherwise whether it's 3d printed or uh, something else, a wooden um, mechanical squonk mod or a stab wood mechanical squonk mod, it pretty much works the same way and you know that this thing, you don't need a warranty for it. You, don't just, you just don't need a warranty. Uh, if the parts get damaged, the internals get damaged, you can replace it with your own 510. You can go to uh, Fat Daddy Vapes, get your own 510. You can do lots of stuff. You can uh, improve it if you know what you're doing you can actually improve it a little bit and it never gets outdated that's what I love about my mechanical squonkers that's all for this review now being a uh, squonk week of course check my channel for all other related videos for squonking squonk atomizers squonk mods squonk bottles etc etc wokey dokey no more smoky Wow, <laughs> <laughs>